<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mystical. Or Nick. Whatever you want to let float your boat. Um, what we're doing right now is playing TDM Biolab. And as you can see, is the title of the video. It's a story of mystical. A story of mystical. Um, and this is about how I got into competitive Call of Duty. Yes, you're going to get a behind the scenes on how I got into competitive Call of Duty and how I got into wanting to make wanting to make Call of Duty a career. How I wanted to make Call of Duty a career is be competitive. And I know you could do it, and I just, I never thought I, I could do it. Um, sorry, excuse me if the game plays bad. Um, my hands are greasy. Are greasy. Um, see, little pre-aiming kids. Um, Pre aiming doesn't always help. See, but when you get in your teammates way, that eh, doesn't really help. Um when I was thinking of joining Pro Call of Duty community, I never thought I would just start leading my own team. I was never thinking of We've taken the lead. leading a team called Shadow, a team with great aspect, a, green, a team that already has its own clothing line, already Lost sponsored. The um, We've taken the advantage. Most kids that I know play video games for fun. Oh yeah, and trust me, video games are fun. Um. Um, and a lot of people will say, no, video games aren't fun, I play it for competitiveness, and I play it for money. Um, I've met one person who said they play video games just to sit there and just people. And that re really made me think of what humanity's like today. Um, but that's getting off topic, um. Besides that, how we live today is from how we could live tomorrow, or how we could be in the next generation. Um, competitive Call of Duty has really changed my life. So is uh, making YouTube videos. Um, These kids are just melting my face off right now. I hate little suede tryhards. Like, honestly, look at this. Like, they are sweaty. But they are back on their heels right now. So sweaty. Um, but besides that, I do like playing competitive Call of Duty. I like learn. I've I've loved learning to make callouts. It's so fun. Um, learning how to make callouts is one main thing that I've loved learning to do. Um, I've always looked up to Optic Nade and you know them 
to really do this for like a living and stuff and I'll always respect them for that. Um, but it was one Pacific person in my life who got me into competitive Call of Duty and his name is Trempy. Um, he was a semi-pro semi-pro on a not pro team but semi-pro team about to go pro um getting my ass munched right now um he did teach me a lot of stuff about going pro leading the team basically a lot of the basics about how I should be playing and everything um certain things that I've learned is how I should be playing I should be playing smart not balls to the wall um <coughs> as well as just if your clan doesn't trust you they won't trust they won't trust the leader well, if you don't trust your clan, they won't trust you. Um, right now, he's on... And this is still talking about him. Um, he's on a... I think a semi-pro sniping team. Well, sniping teams I don't really think are pro, but... You can think what you want of them. Um, to be honest. Just... To be honest... He taught me as much as he taught me more than what I knew I could say because he taught me half the stuff I knew but I already knew except the callouts and the rotations of maps because I know hard points are a ma major thing and I know knowing how to play is playing S and D is a major thing. He was the one who got me into doing GBs. Um, yeah. And if you guys want to go check him out, we'll, I'll leave a link to his YouTube down below. Um, and he's helped me a lot with it. Um, there's certain things that I can't, I can't say he's helped me with because helping me do shadow. He wasn't here with me. He was in Shadow, but he wasn't here helping me do it. He was in Shadow, but he wasn't as much as here as he he thought he was. Um, but he wasn't here as much as he thought he was. As much as he th thought he would like to think he was. Yeah, he helped me get certain members and stuff, but. Right now, I wouldn't be anywhere where I was at in Shadow without me. Now, learning how good I am came with personal respect. Um, if I didn't learn how to respect myself, I wasn't gonna get nowhere. Because I, I had to learn that I was confident in myself and the way I played or else I wasn't going to be no good. Um, besides that, I really... I still do thank him about helping me learn about doing competitive because the only two things he really helped me learn about competitive were the callouts and learning what I had to do. Um... To be honest, besides that, if I wanted to, all I had to do was find a team. But there was a certain stuff he helped me, but not very much. Like those were basically really the only two things he helped me with. Um, but yes, he was a very big help. Um. So I'll, I'll always thank him for that. Um, 
So yeah. So yeah, um, make sure to go check out his channel in the link below. Um, he does okay videos. Wouldn't say there's something I'd watch every day, but he does really good content. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And this has been your boy, Mr. Cool.